editors have to be aware of, you know, in it's, it's not my phrase, but it's news on demand. What people, consumers of news, want the news now on multiple platforms. However much I tell you about it will register about that much for you. It's, um, it's practically impossible to impart what it's like. If I showed you pictures on the screens here, if this is what VR is like, you just say it's just a picture. You have to try it to know what it's like. Why do you think pasta is so incredibly popular? Well, f f I think first of all is because <clears throat> everyone thinks with respect that they can make a bowl of pasta. When you think about a bowl of pasta, you think about something simple and easy to make. Of course, if you do something like Rowley does, it gets a bit more difficult. And uh, it's very accessible, and I'm then you find, you find uh, pasta and sauce everywhere in supermarkets now. Now, everything has changed in the last two years. Uh, when, when I left, we were predicted to get 100 million pounds in digital advertising last year. 20 million of that never appeared, not because the conversion to digital wasn't happening, because it all went to Facebook. I think 80 cent, 85 cents in, in, in the dollar went to Facebook last year in, in digital advertising. I think the, the thing that I like about thinking about the, the meaning, if you want, the language of flowers, is that it encourages you to be more thoughtful in general. So it encourages you to think, where did that come from? What are, it's not just going to a flower shop and saying, could I have a 30 pound bunch of flowers? It's saying, what would that person like? People say to me, oh, why do you need a watch? And I mean, I say, but it's like saying in, in the time of Star Wars and Game of Thrones, why do you still need to read Dickens or, or Shakespeare? Try to get the proportions right at ground level, I agree. But never, never let a designer anywhere near planting your garden. They'll always opt for the line of least resistance and what they did two weeks before. Um, think of something new and take time, and you're all so good at it. The food that we put in our bodies mm. is really simple compared to the process it's gone through with the brain of allowing it in or not. And that is why our relationship with food is so varied from we love it, we're obese, we are <clears throat> we're anorexic, confidence issues, and range of foods that we prefer, like to eat, there's a massive correlation. I mean, ideally you have both, you're a great man manager, you're a tactical innovator, but nobody is. And what you see with people for whom management was really a vocation, so people like Guardiola, Wenger, uh, Mourinho, Van Gaal, is that from their 20s, they're thinking about how am I going to do it. So Wenger had this kind of existential crisis when he was 25, not a very good footballer. He realized one day I'm going to have to retire as a footballer, and that's like dying. I think that one thing which changes is the idea of time, which is fundamental to that song, Hung Up, and indeed to Gimme, 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 A Man After Midnight, the sense of time. Samples go and turn time, you know, literally take one thing out from another and put it somewhere else. It's a very um, aggressive way of reordering mm. of, of time, if you like. You can go back and just help yourself to things um, and place it in you. And Hung Up has got different tempos taking place in there. It slows down, it speeds up, time goes slow. Back when I was a kid, I thought, yeah, this is the life I want. At the time, I never knew that I, I would do it professionally, that I would be able to make money and, and, a, and a career doing this. Uh, I thought it would always be something I'd do in my spare time. Thankfully, I've born into a generation where it's possible to turn a passion like this into a profession. Scotch still remains the absolute dominant category. If you think that Scotch whiskey exports are about 3.8 billion, actually slightly down from, from about 4 billion, uh, but back on the way up again now. About 3.8 billion pounds uh, compared to American whiskey exports, which are a bit over a billion dollars. Uh, it's still the big dominant category on the international market. In 1774, a spec building took on another boom after the Seven Years' War had in increased the British Empire. Now we're looking at India, uh, North America, um, just prior to the revolution. A building boom goes on, and we have several classes of houses to conform to. Yes, I mean, we have um, probably all our biggest uh, clients, our biggest uh, um, patrons are uh, art collectors as well, yes, very much so. And I think, um, you know, what, what we, we try and produce things that will have some heft for many, many years. I, I, the greatest accolade I could think of is that a piece of jewelry I made will become Granny's brooch or Aunt Mary's ring. It will be defined um, by 
uh, the person it's who wore it because they loved it so much. There is a long-running trend that probably, you know, I don't know quite how far back it's gone, but it's probably, you know, if you think back to the era of the frock coat, sort of every generation that moves forward, we, we discard, I don't know who said it, but somebody said that there's this theory that every generation discards the most formal element of the previous generation's you know, attire. It's a very subjective business, and it's quite difficult as a connoisseur to say, uh, well, that's the real thing because I think it's good. It's, uh, you know, you, you've got to be able to back up your, your hunch with all sorts of evidence. And one of the things you need to look for when you're looking for that mystery picture is evidence of the artist's original creative intent. I can talk about the, the virtue of going on a journey of discovery and, and the fact I genuinely do like learning about the places I'm going. But also in truth, if I had been or was as funny as Michael Palin and as loved by the public, then I would have utilised that aspect, you know. I was probably regarded as a relatively firm Remainer and uh, I don't remember ever writing that I thought that if we left, the world would plunge into the Great Depression. So this is Cabernet Sauvignon, 2012, from Contra Costa County. If it were made in Napa Valley, it would cost something like 10 times as much. But Contra Costa County has no real reputation, so we've got a bargain. You, it's sweet, isn't it? It's, uh, you can smell the sun. At the FT, our middle name is detail. Detail is what we do. All those figures and all those numbers, they're all correct, and they can be correct, and you can still have a half-empty bottle of Dr. Pepper on your desk. <laughs> yeah, in, in, indeed you can. However, um, I, I will come back to things are changing in our, our business. I think that our partners, the people that spend money, uh, to finance the nice lifestyle and that you can be away from your desk for three weeks on the hop somewhere. Um, I think expect more of brands these days. Uh, and I think that is absolutely, whether we talk to our friends who have their headquarters in New York and, and that other newspaper that are based in New York. But hang on a minute, when you say they expect more of brands, what the hell do you mean? I mean, they expect that the people who work for these brands need to be living the brand, and that means they need to be only drinking water Absol out of certain Absol vessels. Absolutely. They would have probably spent 15 or 20% more on advertising in the paper <laughs> if you would have had... You can have all the Dr. Pepper you want, Lucy, but maybe it could just be a nice mini bar under the desk or something. Yeah.